Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I'm going to explain the differences between Thunderbolt 3 and USB Type-C. Unfortunately, this is not a simple question to answer. USB Type-C is a connector type that supports various iterations of USB technology, whereas Thunderbolt 3 is its own hardware interface but utilises the USB-C connector. The two don't fall under the same categories, so they aren't easy to compare. Under the naked eye though, these two connectors look extremely similar and can be used in similar capacities, so a comparison and understanding is useful in knowing knowing which one is best suited to your needs. So let's begin talking about the ever-growing popularity USB Type-C connector. USB Type-C holds seniority over Thunderbolt 3. Before USB-C, there has been 10 different USB connectors that came in all shapes and sizes. USB Type-A is still the most popular USB connection that is used. This is because most peripherals still use USB USB type A. In saying this though, USB type C are slowly replacing USB type A. USB type C is compact and symmetrical, not forgetting its best feature, the flippability. Leaving behind the USB type A awkwardness and needing to constantly flip the connector to plug it in. Also, USB type A is big and the connector slot requires a wide section on the side of the computer, which is a look of the past with the ever decreasing width of a laptop and monitor designs nowadays. The USB Type-C features a total of 24 connectors. That's more than twice as many connectors as the USB Type-A has. USB-C cables allow you to charge your USB-C enabled device up to 3 amps. With a USB-C 3.1 cable, you can power your devices up to 100 watts. When you connect your mobile device to a USB-C computer, you can transfer data such as photos, videos and audio files up to 10 gigabytes per second. Here is where things get a little bit confusing. USB Type-C is just a connector, meaning it isn't a type of interface, which Thunderbolt 3 is. It does support all USB technologies from 2.0 to the newly released 4.0. USB 4.0 will only support USB Type-C connectors, but USB Type-C connectors will still be compatible with the older versions of USB interface. With its compact but powerful versatile design and capabilities, technologies are beginning to utilise the connector now, one of them being Thunderbolt. So, what is Thunderbolt 3? Thunderbolt 3 is a type of hardware interface developed by Intel and Apple. The first Thunderbolt connection was released in 2010, at first only available on Apple devices, designed to be incredibly powerful and flexible connection. It was particularly promising for designers or engineers who are using laptops but still needed high-powered connections to external storage, high-resolution displays or similar accessories. Now, the Thunderbolt 3 uses the 24-pin USB Type-C connector. Thunderbolt 3 is the first Thunderbolt technology to utilise the USB Type-C connector. Thunderbolt's architects made a brilliant decision. Rather than face off with USB-C, they joined it. With this new design, they have ditched the old mini DisplayPort connector and switched to USB-C connector. Combining the two technologies into one particularly robust hybrid, the move from USB-C allowed Thunderbolt 3 to expand from Apple devices to other PCs and laptops, a process that is ongoing but finally possible. Thunderbolt 3 ports look exactly the same as USB-C ports, and indeed the connector is physically the same from the plug-in perspective. In many cases, they do everything that the USB-C port can, except much 
faster. Indeed, Thunderbolt 3 is a superset of USB-C. You can plug a USB-C only device into Thunderbolt 3 port on a computer and it will just work fine. Here are some things you can do with Thunderbolt 3 ports today. Transmit data at a rate of 40 gigabytes per second, depending on the configurations. Output video to 4K monitors at 60 Hertz charge smartphones and most laptops up to 100 watts power, connect to an external GPU depending on the configurations as well. Many other Thunderbolt 3 equipped devices, especially laptops, have a mix of USB-C ports with and without Thunderbolt 3 capabilities. There are usually clear identifiable depictions of a bolt of thunder located next to the relevant ports. Meanwhile, the USB-C ports that lack the Thunderbolt 3 capabilities may be labelled with the USB SuperSpeed SS logo, along with the number indicating the peak speed of the port. At this given time though, Thunderbolt 3 is still only commonly seen on Apple devices. Although you do see Thunderbolt 3 in external GPUs because they favor this hardware interface over the rest for its high transferred speeds. So in conclusion, which port should you use? Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C. While it may seem obvious that you should use the more advanced Thunderbolt 3 port over the regular USB-C one whenever you can, the decision isn't always this simple. In many cases, you don't even need to choose between the two at all. To see why, take the most basic capabilities from either port. Charging a battery, no changes in the data transference speed when connecting a device like a a laptop that supports Thunderbolt 3 and a device like an external hard drive or a phone that only supports USB-C. Basically, if you're using the connector for a very basic and not heavily database task, USB type C would serve the purpose very well. But there are a few cases in which you should opt for Thunderbolt 3 where possible, even if it means for opting for a more expensive device. This is mostly true for media professionals who frequently copy a lot of images and video footage to and from external drives. For creative pros working on a late model Mac, all of which support Thunderbolt 3, it's a no-brainer to buy a Thunderbolt 3 external drive to reduce the time spent waiting for data to transfer to be complete. As a result, neither Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C is a clear winner. They're just different and each one excels in different use cases. So guys, thank you for watching. Please leave us a comment on which connector you will be using and please give us a like, a subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you never want to miss a video. If you look over here, there will be a video that we know you'll enjoy. Thank you for watching.